How are you guys? This is IBU Learning here. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can put column reinforcement in Tecla structure. So here you go. Now here I am in Tecla, new model open. Now I will go to here concrete and I will choose column. I will double click here to check the property of the column. This is uh, here now 400 by 400. Then I top of the column is 3.6 meter. Here I can change 3.6 meter. Enter. All over is okay. And I will close this. I place column here. So this column is 3.6 meter height. Now what I will do, I need to select and copy a special, go to linear, then I will put Z value 3.6 meter. I need one copy, I copy another. So I will say here, this is my first floor column and this is second floor column the join in between now i will go to place the reinforcement so i'll move here i'll write column and i'll check column reinforcement I will pick this columns automated reinforcement layout 57. Here also I will double click, it will show the property. But uh, I will check another one. A rectangular column reinforcement. Okay, I will pick here a rectangular column reinforcement and I will just pick this column to apply the same reinforcement and then later on I can adjust this. So this is the by default column reinforcement. Now what I have to do? I will Go to the view and I can change the rendering style. Here I can press Ctrl 1 to change wireframe or shaded or grayscale or part render. So its option is showing Ctrl 4 if you can press then also you will have same option. So I go to wireframe mode Ctrl and 1 if you press. Then I will double click here to enter in the property of the column and here we can see column property. What reinforcement we are going to use. So here size I can choose if I need size 20 or 20, 16 dia or 20 dia. So I can choose from here. Then here we can modify. Here is showing this is I need twenty dia, so I need one lap should be. A starter bar should go come out so I will take 50 dia in 20 into 50 click 
click modify now you can see it scan one meter here bottom I don't need anything because bottom starter I didn't add so it will be now just I focus on the splice joint here from column to column vertical choose because I need the crank for the stutter bar so next floor bar will be a straight and below bar will be the stutter crank this is top corner bar direction this will be same like this this is showing bottom at bottom I don't need so I keep the straight top bar this is showing crank for the top bar so how much distance you require this is this is from column top I don't need to go crank above the column top so I will keep here I'll keep to 80 here 0 and click here in the rebar and modify here I will put the value how much you want to be crank so anyhow I need minimum one die for the crank so here I am going to put 50-50 so I can see the how crank is looking and then it's you can see the bar is already showing the crank I will go in the view navigation then you set viewpoint so I can control and so I can see this is bar is already crying here I need some more modification I will go to Still up here 50 spacing from top still up placement is from top 28 showing 50 and after that I need 100 spacing here I need 200 spacing in the mid span I start I need 10 bar 100 spacing and rest is 200 Here also same 100 spacing and uh, 10 bar. Oh. And then I click to modify. Then you can see this is adjusted. So my rebar spacing is top and bottom 100 spacing and mid span is 200 spacing. and bar is bar crank from top of the column inside so crank is coming here the next floor vertical will start from here one more thing I need to be do in stirrups I need here close the stirrup so I will change this close if we can modify Sorry. Yeah. 
so the stirrup is closed now now u bar top u bar i don't need here I need top u bar so i'll go in the top here it's showing two number of u bar I click modify and it's gone so i have vertical and i have a stirrups stirrups dia if you need you can change here but here it's stirrup dia is sorry 8 mm so i don't have any problem this is okay now main bar is 20 dia all side bar we have 20 dia And then it's okay. Now what I will do? I'll select this rebar. Go to copy. Sorry. I'll go to select. Then I will go to copy a special linear and z axis i have already created column so sorry but just I'll copy apply the copy and i can see bar is already created and attached with crime Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you.